Um, I'll try to do this. Smith Wigglesworth said, I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I feel. I am moved only by what I believe. And I believe the word of God. Now you ought to write that down and remember it. But before we change a page here, I'm going to put these things up here. How do I want to do this? This is the hardest thing sometimes to figure out exactly how to lay out a diagram. So we'll do it this way. Now, I know some of you won't be able to see this, but hopefully some of you will. All right. Spirit, soul, and body. In 1 Thessalonians, this is how God gives the order. Spirit's supposed to be in control. It directs, and I'm actually going to do this because I think I have it here too. It should come from the spirit to your soul, and then your soul should direct your body to obey it. This is the divine order. Spirit in charge, soul takes the orders and gives orders to the body which obeys. Okay? Now, most people... That's the way they live. Their body tells them what to think. Okay, let's destroy it. Their body tells them what to think, what to feel. I'm not going to write all these out. And their soul is completely left out of the mix. Now, and we're going to talk about some of the parts of this a little bit if I get a chance to today. Now, the... Eh, we'll put this in there. I don't want to, you know what? I'll just take this to be easier. Okay. The body. What does the body have? It has feelings. Why? Because of nerves. Now, that is not the, you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the actual physical nerves. So the body tells you when you feel good, when you feel bad, when you feel this, when you feel that, when you feel cold, when you feel hot, whatever it is, your body tells you that, and that is part of your senses. Now, you can also look, and your, your body can show you things, and so these are the five senses. You can see it, you can feel it, you can sometimes hear it, whatever it is, and so your body has these. Now, the soul itself, guess what? It also has feelings. But not from nerves. This is the, you hurt my feelings. Okay? So, it has to do with emotions which flow from ego. Okay. Now, and then I guess I could write the last one too. This, the spirit here, has to do with what the Bible, what Running out of color there. What, what the Bible calls in Galatians 5, Galatians 5, temperance, which is also known as, or the technical word means, self-control or self, well, I guess I might as well go ahead and write it. Governing, yes. Governing. There you go. That's the spirit. Okay. And the fruit of the spirit in the life should be, that's one of the fruit that should be there, along with the other fruit, all right? Now, <clears throat> that, if you go that way, you're going to be in trouble. Because this way, the spirit's trying to get through. And every now and then, he'll burst through, but he doesn't really change anything, right? But if it's this way, then this, and the fruit of the spirit, as we know, guides everything else. And if you have the fruit of the Spirit, then guess what? It's going to guide your emotions. It means you don't just blurt out things and say things. Isn't that right? Why? Because you have self-control. If you don't have self-control, that's the evidence of the lack of the fruit of the Spirit, and it is also the evidence of the presence of the works of the flesh. Do you get it? There's no vacancy there. Okay? Now, <clears throat> 